Okay, my friend, now that you know that experiencing fear and doubts and insecurities, they're just a normal part of life and there's no amount of thinking that you can ever do that's going to ever make them totally 100% go away, okay? It's part of life. It's part of being a human. Now, I want to take you back to the analogy that I shared with you where I want you to imagine that you are like traveling traveling through life, you're on a journey, and that your fears and doubts and insecurities are along with you for the ride. Okay? It's almost like they're passengers in the car with you. But just because they're in the car with you doesn't mean that they are sitting in the driver's seat, they're going to push you out of the way, that they're going to take control of the steering wheel, and that they ultimately decide where you end up in life. Just like a parent would have to put a toddler, restrain them in a car seat and buckle them up and speak to me in a way that says, you know, like, you know, like we're going on a ride and I know that you, you know, maybe want us to do something different, but this is what we're going to be doing. And you'd be speaking to them in such a way that they just slowly quieten down. And you need to do the same when it comes to your fears and your insecurities and your doubts. They're in the car with you. Okay. We can't, none of us, like we can't avoid that fact. But it doesn't mean that you're going to let them run rampant. It doesn't mean that you're going to let them take control of the steering wheel. It doesn't mean that they get to decide where you want to go. You're the boss, remember? And the way that you speak to your fears and doubts and insecurities is ultimately going to decide where you end up in life, my friend.